What's going on everyone out there tonight? I'm just in the studio and I am working on some uh, some tracks and I'm going to be making some some pretty cool helpful tutorial videos on how to make different types of music, mostly trance, house, techno, that kind of stuff, but uh, I want to I want to put some stuff out there that's going to be helpful that's really going to benefit people who want to learn how to make electronic music. Um, so I'm in the studio right now and I'm going to go ahead and play back um, some, some tracks I'm working on. Um, first things first is just want to talk a little bit about the, uh, the drum tracks. Uh, what I normally like to do is I like to double up on my drum tracks uh, when I'm, whenever I'm, I'm working on creating beats, you know, different types of beats. Uh, I do you know, two heavy kick drums, uh, I'll throw in percussion, you know, every song has to have some elements that are, uh, you know, that make it special, unique. You know, every techno song, ha you know, every house song, every trance song, ha you know, has got a, a kick drum. You've got your percussions. You've got your bass line, your strings. Um, you might have, you know, samples or effects put in there as well. Um, you know, a nice melody or what I would call an earworm, a, a, a sound or a melody that pretty much stays in your head. Uh, the entire day, wherever you go, you might be at the club dancing to the song one night, you know, and it just it stays in your head. You know, you get home, it's still in your head. You wake up the next morning, it's still in your head. You're at work, it's still in your head. So, I like to call that an earworm. And uh, um, so, anyway, it's really important that you know when you're making a song that you you're able to capture all these different elements and bring them together into into one one sound. And uh, and make a really cool song, you know, using all those elements. So, anyway, uh, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and start up the uh, the sequencer and uh, show you guys uh, what I'm talking about. So, again, I'm going to start off with the with the drums first. So let me just kind of move this camera over to the computer, and there we go. Okay. So let me find my drums here. Okay, so that's one drum. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the next drum. So you can hear the um, quality of, of the drum. It's it's a lot heavier. It's a lot it's a lot uh, deeper, a lot more stronger, more powerful. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is um, I'm going to go ahead and add in uh, some other percussion. So a shaker. And the shaker, by the way, is a sample that I just took straight out of Apple software, and I just dropped it in there, cut it the way I wanted, and that's it. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is throw in some, uh, some hand claps if I can find them. Okay, some hand clap, and some more percussions. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add in is the bass line. Baseline in there now, and I'm gonna just go ahead and add some more sounds in. sample of the song. Um, now I've got some strings in here too and I'm going to go ahead and play those.
Now, not every good techno or trance song needs to have strings. Of course, strings add a little bit more of a feeling to the song. Um, and I like to add strings, but uh, so these are some strings I'm working on. Now, I don't know if I'm going to use these strings in this song or not, but right now I like them a lot, so I probably will use them. And I'll probably only use them in certain parts of the song. I won't use them throughout the whole song. So that's just, again, something I'll have to work into the, the mix down when I'm, when I'm mixing it in. Um, but anyway, so that's just a quick little sample of what you can do with Apple's Logic Pro. Um, it took me like 30 minutes to put this together, and I don't really think it's that bad for 30 minutes. Uh, again, I could do a lot more better with more time. But um, I'll play the song one more time with the strings, just so you can get a better feel of, of all the elements together. show you guys how you can do some, some pretty cool things um, using the software. Um, so I hope that was helpful and um, please subscribe to my videos if you want to learn how to do this kind of stuff. Um, you don't need to have all the equipment that I have to make, you know, to make good music. You just you need you really just need some good software, you need to have some good ideas and you need to be enthusiastic about it. Um, because you can have the software, you can have all this equipment, but if you don't have the willpower to sit down and listen to a song, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 200, 300 times every time you go in the studio to work on the song, then you're going to get burnt out rather quickly and you're not going to want to do it. So, but anyway, as long as you have a drive and you want to learn it, you can learn it and it just takes you some, some, some motivation to get out there and just do it. And, um, I mean, I didn't have anybody teaching me how to make music. I just went out and bought my first keyboard, and then I bought my next keyboard, and I bought some software, and I just kept going and going with it until I learned how to do it. Um, I don't, I'm not saying I know everything about making music, but I think I know enough to, to be dangerous um, if I had the opportunity. But anyway, um, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and uh, again, I'm going to have more cool tutorials out there to show you how to, how to make music and stuff. So if you're interested and you want to learn some basics um, you know, using Logic, Apple's Logic Pro and you know doing MIDI and you know working with different sounds and different keyboards, then please subscribe. Alright, y'all have a good night. Bye.